Hello, this is Nicole D'Alessio and I'm going to be doing a short little tutorial with you on using Photoshop Mix. And first, uh, I'm going to show you a very quick way to use blend modes. And you're going to want to first choose a background picture. And it works really nicely if you've got some sky in the background, for example. And then I'm going to add the next layer. So over on the right hand side, you see the layers. Down on the bottom are the tools. And then I'm going to press plus and I'm going to add a new image. Now it's a good idea to collect some textures or different things in advance. So here is a concrete sample, for example. Now usually you want to pick higher resolution images. You're going to have a better um, result without it looking pixelated. And notice I've got the top layer selected. If I tap on it, then I can look at the opacity and the blend mode. And I'm going to tap on the blend mode. And you can choose and play with what they look like. Now notice when I press darken, uh, a lot of the sky disappeared, uh, but it has a very interesting look to it. And then of course I could always reduce the opacity a little bit to reduce the effects. But I highly suggest trying different ones because with different picture samples, you're going to get um, a different look to it and it just depends on what you're looking for. I personally like the darkened one and this sample um, with the opacity reduced just a little bit. Now, if I wanted to add another layer of blend mode, I could. I'm going to press plus again, add a new image. And here's a just a picture of a newspaper that I added. Now, if you want to, um, you can mess around with the adjustments on it, like maybe uh, play with the contrast a little bit, um, desaturate it, unless you want to look for the yellowy look. And then, once again, I'm going to go to the blend modes and I'm going to play around with some of the blend modes. Now, as you can see here, it definitely is pretty dark, so I'm going to reduce the opacity of it. And then the other thing I want to do is make sure that the newsprint doesn't go over the kid. So I'm going to use the cutout tool down on the bottom, and I'm going to use the basic brush, and I'm going to subtract it. So I'm going to erase that picture just where the kids are. So notice when I paint over it, it's reducing the effect right in that area. You can make it harder or softer. And you can also make it as precise or kind of generalized as you want to. So it has a little bit um, of a different effect. If I say, ooh, I want to make sure I don't do too much, I can add the plus symbol and then get in a little closer to my subject, for example, so I can't see the white around the edges. And then pinch and zoom in to get more detailed. And there we go. Pretty cool. Check mark when you're done. And then you're going to press the up arrow and save it where you want to save it. In this case, I'm going to save it to my camera roll. And I'm done. Have fun.